Welcome to my Billboard Generator tutorial. This is a audio recorded tutorial, which is something new regarding Billboard tutorial. And I'll show you and explain the use of it and why I made it, and of course, what you can do with it. So let's run it. I assign a control J to run it. Let me tell you about the interface. The interface is a long uh, interface with many options. I will only show you a couple of them, not all of them. And the idea of it with the build generator, the workflow is very easy. You select two files, diffuse map and an alpha map. You assign a height and you press the generate to create the plane, either tree plane or people or a person plane. plane. So let's go and select a diffuse map. I have here a folder with some GOP 3D images and I'll select a diffuse map. I select also a, an alpha map, a matching one. I'll set the height to two meters. Please note that the centimeters here will change if you modify your unit system to centimeters or inches or millimeters. So I'll press the generate and as you can see it created a plane with its matching transparency. So this is one. Now you have a lock button and this lock button is for cases where you have only a single file which is either a TIFF file or a target file and they and it has an embedded alpha map. So let's select one. I have one in this folder the image source and Let's go select this woman and let's make sure you see this is a TIFF file and let's select other and lock. So if I lock it, Billboard Generator will not need any alpha map because it will look into the diffuse bitmap. So let's create a woman. If her size is like 1 meter, 72 centimeters, and I'll create a woman. Now, as you can see, while I was creating it, the tree plane was selected, so it modified. So please make sure you are not selecting anything when you insert another new person or tree. Another thing that you can do is uh, flip the tree and also, some users ask to add a, an, op an option to attach a VR and a billboard helper, helper when creating a plane. I never use it. Okay, so what you can do now, you can pick a point in the viewport, like this one, and when I click the generate, it will create it here. So, um, like reset. Reset its location. If I go to reset, or uh, can pick another point, I'll generate. Okay. And as you can see, since I changed this, the height to two meters, the woman was inserted, and then she is very tall. So let's delete her. Now you can go to any of the planes you have in seen and modify their height. So like 160, 160 already. Let's delete this one. I have her and this one. And let's create a camera in the scene. Let's create a single a standard target camera. And I want to align those planes to orient them to the camera direction. So I'll select the camera and I orient all to the selected camera. I may have more than one camera in the scene. So once I press the button, you can see that the plane is rotated 
and when I move the camera, rotate it, the planes will orient towards it. I made a little orientation and return, they return to their original orientation. And uh, what I can do, apart, of use, apart from using it for trees and people, I may want to color correct my scene, so I may insert color correction aids like this black, gray, and white editor or the gray scale. So create, and I will create another one. So sorry, I'll select the black gray, which is only seeing diffuse and it's locked, and I'll create a generate. So you may use them in your scene, and that's the basic operation. Now you can use a scatter function, which is I may admit that it's not the best in the world, it's only for basic use. You can use 3ds Max own utilities or other scripts to distribute trees. I myself use a commercial script nowadays. And also you can select and delete all the or delete all the planes or the to the billboards in your scene. Also, let's undo. And you may also decide that you want to display names. So you can see the height. See, you can see the placement of the pivot point and also the labels which will tell you the height of the, the planes, the billboards. Now you can hide all or unhide all. And basically that's it. I hope you like it. I recommend using version 2.7, which is exactly the same except for this part. And if you are again, if you are interested, you may check the configurator. Actually, configurator will um, create a text. If you want, uh, you'll have to analyze each vendor's naming uh, naming routine. For example, tree, and the matching alpha channel will be, will be like a file name tree underscore a or a, whatever uh, string that the vendor decides to use. So this is something more complicated. It's not for all people, but uh, it's a nice utility. So when you create a list, the INI file, it will create a list that will show here, like this one. And once you scroll, you will be able to see all the trees in the library scrolled in those two Windows. That's all. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you use it. And that's it. Thank you very much.